We live inside a laboratory. We want to make sure everything is clean and that we don't have any uh, fungus growing. So we sample the air and we sample the surfaces. The way we sample the air is with a uh, microbial filter. Looks like R2-D2. It pulls air in the top down through this sieve. Inside there I have a petri dish. The petri dish collects it. We let it grow for five days and then we take pictures of it and see uh, whether we grew some mushrooms or not. Hopefully not. First step, turn it on. Next step, push on. This has a little spinning fan in it, so it'll behave kind of oddly because it's got like a gyroscope. For three minutes, it will uh, sample the atmosphere, and then I'll close it, shut it off, and then uh, close up my petri dish, and uh, see what grew. Like waiting for your eggs to boil. Time to push off. Time to shut off the fan. And now, time to go stow the petri dish. Hi. It's five days later, and uh, our samples have been cultivating in their incubation bag in the cupboard. Time to get them out and see how clean the space station is, see what grew. Just as you'd expect, the air in the space station isn't full of floating bugs. Looks pristine. Very nice. But I did some surface sampling that day too. Most of the surface samples are good, but not all. Look at this surface sample. Healthy little spores. They like what we were feeding them. So there are places on station that we could probably clean up a little better. But if you tried this in your own house, you'd probably be surprised as well. All part of maintaining a healthy workplace, a healthy place to do experiments, and living in space.